Hi, my name is Joshua Fleming and I am in Cell Biology Lab and uh, I'm going to do my uh, protein uh, paper research um, presentation on a article that I found. So the title of the article is The Structure and Amount of Tubulin in Cells and Tissues. It is uh, from the Journal of Bio, uh, Biological Chemistry, Volume uh, 254, Number uh, 7. And uh, the uh, author was Peter J. Anderson. And it was performed uh, by in the Department of Biochemistry at the University of uh, Ottawa, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. So in this article, it gave me a really good overview of like what tubulin actually is and what it does and how it works in the cell. And so they actually performed an experiment where they were trying to find the ratio of uh, isolated peptides, which are um, heavily involved in the making of tubulin and uh, so they tried to find the ratio of that to regular protein in the brain of a mouse and of a calf and so their findings were that 13.5 percent of the protein in a mouse's brain were made of tubulin type proteins and that 3.5 percent of the protein in the brain of a calf were made out of tubulin cells. So I wrote a short little paragraph here kind of explaining some of the things that were kind of important to me in reading this and that is microtubules are cytoplasmic structures found in eukaryotic cells. Microtubules are made up of uh, tubulin proteins. They are formed by polymerization of uh, the uh, protein tubulin which exists under physiological conditions as a dimmer of two different peptide chains known as I think it's alpha and beta tubulin. So there's two types of tubulin that make up this microtubules and they're all like peptide chains. Together, the uh, microfragments formed from actin microtubules composed com comprise the cytoskeleton and are throughout essential for cellular mobility. And microtubule function at the molecular level is the uh, determination of uh, tubulin structures and uh, the amount and variety within a cell and what type of cell. So I hope that kind of explains to you about this article that I found and uh, I will definitely be using it in writing my essay.